flames and uh, the devastation is just uh, incredible as well. Yeah, it, it's going to be a long time before they get that under control. Thankfully, we're back under control here after last night. Uh, thanks for staying late with us last sure. night. Always had fun to have a little guest appearance there from the anchors. Uh, we looked at the storms getting stronger because last night there was a storm system on top of us rather than just storms popping up here and there tonight. Not that concerned because we just have the storms popping up here and there. Show you what happened last night first. This was an EF zero tornado. That's the Fujita scale enhanced and changed a little bit ago uh, from the original scale. 65 to 85 mile per hour winds. This one was uh, guesstimated uh, to be peak winds around 80 miles an hour. It was in the Southland Center area in Taylor here, uh, just to the east on Telegraph uh, Road there. So an impressive a little spin up there with an interaction with the storms coming through. The rain amounts more widespread uh, and it looks like a lot of rain. We got a 4.07 at Metro. That's the official number for Detroit. That's more in the whole month of July, not only this month, but on average, we get about three and a third. So we've got four inches there. Three and a half in Southfield, Dearborn Heights, three and a quarter. You can read down the list all these numbers at two or higher, almost two and a half in Troy, Utica, about two and a third. Now, this is another way to look at it. There's the path of those nasty storms starting around 1030 last night till about two in the morning. Uh, most areas, one and a half to two and a half inches of rain, but certainly concentrated in Wayne County here. Common numbers of two to three inches in a short period of time. Not only do we have the tornado warning, but we have the flash flood warnings. Since we're thunderstorm warnings, it was a busy night. Here's a look at some of the damage now. Again, this is in that area in Taylor. You can see the roof is on this side of the building, but it's gone there on the far side. It's in the parking lot. Flooding was a problem. Some people had a little sense of humor. No wake is usually along the shoreline of a lake. That road kind of looks like a lake. Other people didn't think it was so happy. You can see the cars really deep in the water. A lot of spots, especially in Wayne County. And this shot of the parking lot out of this mall. Yeah, looks like a lake, doesn't it? All right, tough go there. We'd love to see your pictures. You can always send them to me on Twitter and Facebook. And send it at WXYZ.com is a great way for us to get them on the air as well. Here's what's happening right now. We showed you at the top of the show, not much. It was heavier north into the thumb than it was around here this evening. We had some in the afternoon too. That batch put generally less than a half an inch in the area. But watch as we let this run through time. Nothing overnight. We get into tomorrow in the afternoon, and you see things start to fill up potentially again around here. Not tons of problems, but scattered showers and thunderstorms after 3 o'clock tomorrow. It's only 49 in Marquette right now while well, we still sit at 67 in Detroit. Not going to change too much. Our low is 64. All the shower and storms fading away now. I don't think there'll be any overnight tonight. 84 tomorrow. Again, good warm sunshine through the day. And it looks like after 3 o'clock, you just have to watch the skies a little bit. 7-day forecast, 85 Friday. A couple of upper 80s on Saturday and Sunday. A little more steam, so it looks like we'll probably feel like the lower 90s for the weekend. Saturday looks like the better day, but Sunday is mostly dry. There's only real, real outside chance of something late in the day. All right, Dave. Thank you.